so we got a call for a Toyota truck that is in a precarious position on the side of a mountain up near a town called Tooele. We're going to spell it for you. That should be confusing to everybody. Do you know how to spell it? I know that it's spelled Tule. It's a nice day today. A little bit cloudy on and off, overcast. It's about 82 right now. You got Tucker back there in case there's a situation arises. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a good day. We're going to make it a good day no matter what. We got Rudy back there. You're not going to see him. Well, good morning. It is beginning of the week. It's Monday morning. We got a call last night for a truck that stuck up in Tooele, and that's like four hours away or something like that. My Jeep, I didn't feel comfortable driving it that far, so we've got it behind us on a trailer. Anyway, so it's just the beginning of our trip. I'm just going to sleep. Of course, all the cars are taking the diesel pumps. Gas cars. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five spaces here that the cars could get in. If you have a gas car and there's an open gas pump, take it. But instead, they've chosen to block the diesel pumps. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What'd you end up getting for breakfast? Nothing. Nothing? So we just fueled up here at this Chevron, the Beaver Valley Chevron, I think is what they call it. So since we're here in Beaver and we're driving right through the middle of town, we are stopping at the cheese factory for some cheese curds and some ice cream. Oh, you could make a root beer float. Yeah. Creamer in kitchen. I liked it better when it was just, you just came in and got your cheese curds and left. Squeaky cheese. Ten bucks, eh? Or you could get a potato. Cheese curds, if you haven't had them, some people call it squeaky cheese. They're way better like room temperature or slightly warm, for me anyway. Yep, they're not squeaking yet because it's not warm enough. So we're stopped here in traffic because a train had to go past. So just a little update on uh, what's happening. Trevor is meeting us at the job. He's actually been on vacation in Windover or somewhere out there. He's uh, actually going to beat us to the job. So he's going to be there waiting when we get there. And then my buddy Tom Tom, who's been on the channel, he's coming down to see us from Idaho. So I'm just like, hey, meet us at this job. So he's going to meet us there. And we're going to stop at my buddy Johnny Boy's house. He lives up here in Tooele, and he's familiar with the area. And we're going to see if we can get him to go with us because it's always nice to have an area expert when uh, you're doing extreme recovery in in an unfamiliar area. We're about, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes south of Tooele. Say it with me, Tooele, Tooele. Truly. <laughs> <laughs> we met at Johnny Boy's house. We had Tom Tom meet us here. Um, we're unloading the Morver here, and from here we're gonna go do the recovery. I'm gonna trailer my Jeep there still because I don't trust my rear U-joint on the road. And this is more comfortable. You still got like an hour of driving. Three, two, one. I have no idea. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? So we're here in the Morver. We got the usual Lizzie back there. Tom Tom. Hello. We got the new guy here, Johnny Boy. He's the, the uh, resident expert. He's the area expert, so we brought him along so that we don't get into trouble in unfamiliar territory. fact that it looks like a shooting range where I'm going to be parking my truck. Hey, that's how it is everywhere out here. Oh, great. Yeah. Come on, yeah, just let you guys window. know that the uh, seating assignments are not going to change from the truck to the Jeep. <laughs> what? No, no. <laughs> We can 
see it up there on the hill. We're just gonna make our way up to it now. How did Trevor get his van in here? I think he took a different road in. Wow. Sorry that took so long. Hey Trevor! What do you want me to do, Tucker? To head up. You want me to run with this thing? How far away are we from it? Not it's hard. just right up there. How's it going? Good, how's it going? Glad to see you. Yeah, well, hopefully it works out for you. <laughs> I hope so too. Thank you so much for driving up. I know it was a huge journey. I appreciate it to no end. I appreciate it. Like, I'll wait all day if you can let Chuck out, man. We'll, we'll get it out. <laughs> Did you do your stretches? Get up here already once. on the spare tire. Furthest over? Yeah. Yes, it is. Jeez. Oh my God. I wonder what was going through his mind when he came off of this. If we hook it from the back and hook it from the frame here, turn the wheels to the left, and it's okay if the front end drops down there, get the truck pointed downhill right here and then pull it back up onto the road. You like that? That's what I would do. I would usually say is everyone in agreeance? Yep. Turns out agreeance isn't the word. Okay, so Rudy, we got to get both of our rigs up here. Okay. I'm thinking I want you on the bumper and I'll, since I'm a little bit heavier, I'll be holding the weight of the truck. Johnny boy, do you want to place us? Sure. Sharp, isn't it? This is super durable stuff. It's not oh, to unhook it? Yeah. Okay, I just need one end right through here. The wheel? Yeah. Okay. Where's that water coming from? Yeah, where is that water coming from? It rained. I bet. Yeah. And it's, and it's stored in the door because it's too much of an angle to drain. All right, Rudy, I, if I remember correctly, our uh, winches interfered with each other, which is awesome. Yeah.
I will. Okay, we're gonna let you down now. So turn to the right. Okay, put it in drive. Are you far? Are you locked to the right, Lizzie? Yeah. Okay. I'm in drive. Do you want me on the brake? Off the brake. Okay. Off the, to take the parking brake off too. Okay, give it the tiniest bit of gas. Yeah, just hold it steady. Hold it steady. Yep. It's gonna start dropping this, down. Yeah. No, you're good. You're okay. at the worst point. Steady, Lizzie. A little bit. That's the first time I've seen you panic in a car. <laughs> Lizzie, hard left. Put it in reverse, but don't give it any gas. All right. <laughs> Okay, stop right there turn, for a second. Turn the wheel again turn and the wheel drive to the right down. and put it in neutral. Okay, okay stop for a second. Let's rehook that to the other side, Ruby. Yeah. Okay. So, how's it going, Lizzie? Oh, it's great. I'm dying of heat in here, though. How do you work this thing? Is this from heat or from uh, nerves? Probably both. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Okay, Lizzie, help with the tiniest bit of reverse. That's too much. Okay, turn to the driver. Turn right. Okay, straighten up a little bit. Tiny's gonna gas, Lizzie. Are tires good? Yeah. Give it the tiniest bit of gas, just a little. Just a little. That's good there if she pulls the other way. Okay, stop. Stop. Hold up. Okay, turn my way. You're about to drop down on this side, which will make you feel better. Here, okay. See, I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then start turning the wheel the other way. Yep. That's a little too Straight. much. I wonder how this fared. Right there, that's where it was, I think. Looks good. I'm happy with it. Okay, now passenger, passenger. Back it up, back it up. Oh man, unreal. <laughs> yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And driving all the way up here to help, it's just incredible. Yeah. Can't, can't express it enough. But. Well, thanks for letting us do it. <laughs> Wouldn't yeah, trust anybody else. else. <laughs> I hate it so hard. You Did you? I took. A rock that right to the cheek. Full oh, weight. Up here? Yeah. On the way down? Yeah. Um, Which one? Left. What do you want to do? Like, a, like my feet <laughs> were in the air <laughs> and I went boom. Hey. Thank you, everybody. Here's Seriously. A shirt for you. Wow, thank you. Sure. What size do you wear? Uh, do you have a medium or a small? Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, Seriously, my, my sincerest gratitude. Yep. <laughs> uh, incredible. Hope you're still <laughs> Thank you. So we got there, got them found, got them pulled out. It was like 45 degrees. 46 to be exact. It felt like yeah. about 105. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got them out of there. Um, I think Rudy and Tucker and Tim are just going to head on down the road. And Lizzie is detaining us. And Tom's going to help us. She found a horse to buy over in Grantsville. So we've got to go look at it. For my cousin. It's not oh, for a horse me. trailer? We'll just put them in the back of the truck. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.